Have you ever seen those massive steel coils being exported before? In a way, it appears extremely dangerous. It is so risky that one particular loading method is even called suicide style, because if something goes wrong, the steel coil could roll straight into the driver's cabin, causing catastrophic consequences. A single steel coil can weigh up to 60,000 pounds, which is roughly the weight of 15 mid-size SUVs. Despite this obvious danger, many experienced drivers actually prefer this loading method. But why? Let's explore the reasoning behind it. During transportation, various forces act on the cargo as the vehicle accelerates, slows down, or changes direction. Because of inertia, a steel coil will attempt to keep moving in the direction it was originally going. If improperly secured, the damage a loose steel coil can cause is massive. Once it starts rolling, there is virtually no stopping it, and it could lead to a tragic accident. Therefore, proper loading and securement of steel coils on public roads is a matter of life and death. When you see massive steel rolls on trucks, you might instinctively think, this looks extremely dangerous. Why not just lay them flat on their sides to prevent them from rolling? While this seems logical, there are critical reasons why steel coils are loaded in specific ways. Let's explore the different loading methods. Steel coils can be loaded on a flatbed trucks in three primary ways. One, suicide loading. The eye, hole in the center of the coil faces the sides of the truck. Two, shotgun loading. The eye faces front to back along the truck's length. Three, eye to the sky. The eye faces directly upward toward the sky. Each loading method has its advantages and disadvantages. The choice of method depends on various factors including how the receiver prefers to unload the coils, the type of equipment available, and the physical characteristics of the coils. Let's talk more about each of this loading methods. Shogun method. Like said, this is when the coil is placed so that its eye faces the front and back of the truck, rather than the sides. This method is typically used for wider coils, generally those exceeding 75 inches in width. If a wide coil were loaded suicide style, there wouldn't be enough space for securement chains and binders. One major issue with shotgun loading is the risk of telescoping, where the coil unravels in a violent manner if it becomes loose. Additionally, because the coil's eye is aligned with the truck's direction of travel, if it becomes unsecured, it rolls sideways, potentially into nearby vehicles. Some refer to this as the homicide load because of the threat it poses to other road users. Another disadvantage is the high cost of loading and unloading. Shotgun-loaded coils usually require an overhead crane as standard forklifts often cannot handle them. Now, eye to the sky loading this is when the coil is positioned so that the eye faces directly upward. This method is often considered the safest as it prevents the coil from rolling in any direction. However, it is typically used only for lightweight coils, such as aluminum coils intended for canning plants. These coils are usually placed on plastic or wooden pallets and loaded slash unloaded using forklifts. The main drawback of eye-to-the-sky loading is that it becomes difficult to secure once the weight exceeds 20,000 pounds. Standard securement methods, such as the X-Pattern, are not as effective at keeping heavier coils in place. Additionally, handling these coils requires specialized equipment, such as massive forklifts or overhead cranes with specialized tongs, which many companies do not have. Repositioning an eye-to-the-sky coil into a horizontal position can also be costly and time-consuming. Despite its risks, suicide loading remains a popular method for transporting heavy steel coils. One reason is that it is much easier and faster to load and unload suicide coils using forklifts equipped with coil ram attachments. This method keeps the coil's tension intact, reducing the risk of violent unraveling. Unlike shotgun loading, where only the outer layer of the coil is secured, suicide loading allows for a more effective method of restraint using coil racks and friction mats that block the entire coil. Another reason for using suicide loading is that securement through the eye of the coil is generally more effective in securing it from above, as is done with eye-to-the-sky loading. Properly secured suicide coils are less likely to move during transit, provided they are correctly strapped and chained. Additionally, some drivers prefer suicide loading because, in the event of an accident, the coil is more likely to roll toward them rather than into surrounding traffic. While this may sound counterintuitive, it is sometimes considered the lesser of two evils. Although traditional flatbed transport remains the most common method, specialized coil trailers offer a safer alternative. Companies like Adams Trucking use custom-built trailers that cradle the steel coil in a recessed pocket, preventing it from moving while also allowing for additional securement using designated tie-down points. 
While highly effective, these trailers have a significant drawback. They eliminate backhaul opportunities because they are designed solely for coil transport. Given the dangers of transporting steel coils, strict regulations govern how they must be secured. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration FMC say, has specific requirements for metal coil transportation, detailed in Section 393.12 of its cargo securement regulations. These rules mandate minimum securement standards, including the number of tie-downs required and the types of restraints that must be used. Trucking companies must comply with these regulations to ensure both driver and public safety. Steel coil transportation may seem unnecessarily risky, but each loading method serves a specific purpose. Suicide loading, despite its ominous name, is favored by many drivers because it offers better load control, easier securement, and faster unloading. However, it remains crucial to follow strict securement protocols to prevent catastrophic accidents. Safer alternatives, such as specialized coil trailers, do exist, but they come with trade-offs in cost and efficiency. Ultimately, the best practice is always to adhere to the securement guidelines established by the FMC say and use proper equipment to minimize risks. So, the next time you see a truck carrying a massive steel coil, you'll know exactly why it's loaded the way it is, and you'll understand just how much engineering and strategy go into making sure that load arrives safely at its destination. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more on the simple insights of life. We have other interesting content for you. Click the left or the right video and enjoy.